the, the medical examiner was there, so we're oh, like, somebody's dead. Something happened. I'm like, are you serious? Well, we're on day one of a five-day trip from Florida to Missouri. Not our ideal way of traveling. Normally, we'll travel for two or three hours in a day and stay for a week or two, or three sometimes. Uh, but because we were helping my mother move up to Missouri after my stepfather passed away, we have to get up there pretty quick because she has the movers coming in a couple of days and then she's gonna fly up there to Missouri and we have to be there to receive her and then to help her get all packed back in. But it's gonna be an interesting five day trip. Uh, we went from Orlando to Valdosta on the first day and we're staying at a place called Valdosta Oaks RV Park. It's only $32 a night. You can see it's pretty wide open. Nothing special about this place, but it is right off I-75, so very conveniently located. And um, so we're doing overnight stays. And yes, I did unhook from the truck. Uh, even though we're only staying overnight, we like to go a distance that's gonna get us to where we're going without having to stop and go through the truck lanes with the RV. So what we'll do is we'll go about 200, 250 miles each leg and then we'll stop, unhook the truck, be able to go gas up, get any groceries or anything that we need, come back. It's a little bit more of a pain to hook back up every single time, the actual logistics of that, but it saves you time on the long end because, and money, because A, you don't have to go through the truck lanes and you're at the mercy of those trucks. If they're in there taking a shower or getting something to eat or whatever, you're just stuck. And the other side of that is, is the gas prices at these places, at these truck stops like Pilots and Flying J's and, and um, TAs, they're more expensive because they know that they have the truckers trapped. Now we do have our card, which you can save us a little bit of money on gas, but it's not enough. Even if we didn't have the discount, it's cheaper for us to unhook the truck and then go gas it up every day, especially with fuel prices being up close to like $5 a gallon for diesel. Seems to be going down for regular fuel, but not for us. But anyway, let's go inside and see what Leslie and Scout are up to, settled in for the first night. We're in Valdosta, Georgia, and then tomorrow we're headed off to uh, Eufaula, Alabama. What up? What up? How was the first day, travel day? Good. Very good. You go into so much detail. I do, don't I? I love how much detail you go into when I ask you how things are going. It's like I can almost barely get you to shut up. <laughs> you know what I can say? What? I will say that ever since you put those sumo springs in, yeah, my work in here is very minimal. Nothing moves around. No. I'm like, Crazy. I don't know what to do. I finish way earlier than I'm used to. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm done. And speaking of setting up quickly too, I'm a little thrown off too because normally we'll stay one or two weeks, but yes. overnight I don't set up stabilizers. Yeah. I don't set up X chocks we'll in the tires. Today is easy I don't do a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. So Fair easier minimal. for me too. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I know. I didn't have to do as much stuff. Yeah. Um, we did have a little bit of a slow up this morning because we left out of Thousand Trails, Orlando and Claremont <laughs> And there was we were just talking about this on the live how somebody got murdered in our RV park Yeah, we leave that RV park. We're 10 miles down the road right across the street from Lake Louisa State Park Yeah, and there is a, a, a class a Motorhome it's facing the wrong direction. It's facing toward us. Yes on our side of the road and they had traffic going down to one lane and apparently... And it was barricaded off. The, the medical examiner was there, so we're oh, like, somebody's that. dead. Something happened. I'm like, are you serious? So we looked at the story. We'll, we'll look up some more detail later on, and maybe yeah. we'll find a clip to share I'm with you. But preliminary reports is the motorhome was stolen. Yeah. Late hours of the night, early morning last night, and then took police on a chase. chase. Yeah. And I guess they threw out the sticks, the stop sticks, the little yeah. things to pop the tires. So that's probably what spun him out. And facing the oncoming. He barricaded traffic. himself into the RV, yeah. closed all the drapes so they couldn't see. So they didn't want to, they didn't know if there was anybody else in there, hostages, whatever. Yeah. So it was a standoff for and a while. He, and it said that he called somebody to let them know he was going to OD himself in there. Which he did. Which he did. Apparently, he did OD himself. Yeah. Uh, eventually, SWAT breached the Class A and got in there, and, and, and he found him dead. The Lake County Sheriff's Office is investigating a standoff that ended with a man dead. 
Just after 2 in the morning, deputies tried stopping an RV reported stolen out of Flagler County, but Lieutenant Fred Jones says the driver sped up. Started to drive erratically, even going opposite against traffic. Stop sticks were deployed. The driver didn't respond. The sheriff's office says during the standoff, it received a call from another agency. A driver in an RV said that he was surrounded by law enforcement and that he was overdosing. That's when SWAT breached the RV. Inside, they discovered the man dead. So, um, a little bit of excitement on the way, but after that, it was smooth sailing. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I know, tell them what we're going to get into tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Here's Scout. Scout's all getting settled in. And, you know, he just left an awesome view, so he's probably going to climb up here and look out the window and he's see this. Sadly disappointed. <laughs> instead of the lake view. <laughs> And yep. instead of seeing his friends, the gators and all that stuff. Yeah. So anyway, that's day one. Yep. Easy setup. Tomorrow we're headed to Eufaula. Yep. And actually, it's a park that we stayed at before. We stayed at this park before we were full-timers. It was one of our first shakedown. Shakedown. Well, I think it was our actually our second. Because first was at on base. Yeah. Our base, Fort Benning. Fort Benning. And then we went, spread our wings a little further and went to Eufaula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it'll be nice to go back there. It's been a couple years yeah. since we've been back there. And we haven't been there in this rig. We were there in the Montana. Montana. Yeah. So it'll be interesting, even though it's only overnight. But we'll show you that uh, RV park, too. I remember it being pretty out there. So. Yeah, it's nice. But yeah. Not that we'll get to enjoy it. I know. <laughs> only overnight. Well, we got to run to the store. But um, tomorrow morning, up and at them and on the road again. Not really.